Parker was born on November 29th in 1947 in Clover City, California. Throughout his childhood, he was very active in water sports such as water skiing and crew. He won many water skiing tournaments and he was on a national championship crew team in college. After reading an article in the National Geographic about the regalo wing and the fledging sport of hang gliding, he built his first hang glider out of bamboo tubes, painted plastic sheeting, and duct tape. He flew for a short distance over some sand dunes, and today there's a plaque there that states it's the place where modern hang gliding began. In 1969, he was drafted in the army and did very well on his test and ended up driving a boat in Germany for the 522nd Floating Bridge Company. Then he landed a position as a ski boat driver for military families. At this time, he got the idea that he wanted to hang glide from the highest mountain in Germany, Zug Spite. In 1973, he did it and set three world records. Mike continued to help develop the sport of hang gliding. He owned six schools, three Delta gliding factories, and had become quite famous in Europe and Germany. In 1977, while flying one of his kites behind a boat in Granada, he had a terrible accident and fell 400 feet into the water. He nearly died and was in a coma for 11 months. He shattered his legs and became paralyzed from the waist down. He spent four years in hospitals and rehab centers and miraculously began to work as a sports photographer and television producer. What importance does, do you take in hang gliding? Well, How is it important to you? Okay, well back when I was 16, 17, and a crazy young boy, it was just something I wanted to do because nobody else did it and I thought I could. And when I did, I liked it and I continued. And I really had a very much enjoyment of flying and uh, until it almost killed me, I really enjoyed it a lot. But then, after my very bad accident, I stopped. By pure chance, in the year 2000, Mike Harker got his hands on the sailboat. Before long, he fell in love with sailing and soon set his mind on sailing around the world. In February 2007, Mike Harker left Miami by himself on his Hunter 49 and began his circumnavigation of the world. He returned to Miami in February 2008 as he completed the trip and invited the students from Shake Lake, Miami to come and enjoy a ride on the Wanderlust 3 and listen to the tales of his adventures. What inspired you to go to hand hand? Okay. I saw pictures. I saw pictures. I was born and I grew up as a little kid like you on the beach of California. And I would lie in the sun and behind me was a big sand dune. And I'd see the birds. They go back and forth and back and forth. And I thought, wow, wouldn't that be something? So I tried it with a bed sheet. You know what a bed sheet is? Yeah. On the bed. I tried um, it and I ran and I ran. <laughs> Terrible. But I made a glider out of plastic and bamboo. And it actually yeah. flew. So you that was my start. You saw it on the TV. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was my inspiration was watching the birds, the seagulls. So they're like Jonathan Livingston Seagull. That's a movie, right? You tried and you tried to like make it make it work. So you use bamboo and um yes. some and some plastic and that's how it that's how it works. Mike, yes. what I have a question. Yes. What is what does the word wanderlust mean? Wanderlust. Let's break it down. What is lust? That means desire. That means to want to do something really bad, like right in your heart, to lust after a, a woman or to after free time or after. And what does you think wander means? Wander means just to travel without a goal. That means to wander. Do you remember a cowboy film 
and an old cow, you didn't see the cowboy movie? Well, there was an old gruff old cowboy and he sang a song and he sang it real gruff. He said, I was born under a wandering star. And that is the wander, the lust to wander. So I have a desire to wander the seas of the world. That's what wanderlust means. How's that? That was a good question. Good for you. Thank you. What inspired you to travel around the world on a sailboat? Well, it wasn't really inspiration. It was a, it was a desire. And the desire was, if I get a good boat, and I learn all my rules and regulations, and I feel confident with my skills at sailing, I think I can sail my boat in a long distance. Well, about as long distance as you can go is all the way around the world. So I just kept going. Seven. Okay. Brittany, what's your question? Brittany, look at me okay. when you ask. Okay, what's your question? My question is, what re what really happened with um with your first boat and when you like got this boat? Well, the first boat was a little smaller, and I really liked it. I had it four years, and then I. I was told that they're building a new one and that they wanted me to help them to design some of the things so that I can handle this boat being handicapped. So I told them put handles here and handles there and make the steps big. So the company gave me a little bit of a deal on the price because I helped them to design it for a person like me that has problems with walking around. So that's why I chose this boat from the other one. It's just better for me. My question is, do you consider yourself as impulsive? I'm impulsive, yeah. I'm impulsive, but when I get an impulse to do something, I don't just do it, I think about it, and I kind of plan, I like to plan. So, I'm an impulsive person, I like to just be, oh, wow, wouldn't that be good to do that? But I don't just do it, I think about it, I study it, I plan it, and then I do it. So yeah, I'm impulsive, but I'm also careful, because I almost died, and I don't want to do that again. Hi, my name's Brittany, and right now, as you can see, we are in the we are in the boat of Mike Harker, and as you can see, I'm right here in the kitchen area, dining room area, and over here is the kitchen and his navigation system. All right, buddy, what's your question? Uh, Mike Harker. Yes. You've done many great things, like some great sailing. Yeah. Um, and other things. And great some other things. Do yeah. you have any advice for the kids of this generation? Wow, that's like, man, you guys have it so good. you got so many possibilities that I would just try everything you can without getting hurt. If you have the opportunity to try something, somebody says, oh, come on, let's go try water skiing. Do it. If you like it, stick with it. And if you don't like it, try something else. Try a mountain bike, or even ride on the back of somebody's motorcycle, or go and try to rent a surfboard and ride a wave in the ocean. If you have the opportunity, do it. And then you'll like something really well, and when you really like something, then you stick with it and try to try to do that the best you can. How's that? Mm, yeah. Okay. Okay, Eric. Good question.